Floyd Adams. What's going on? It's good, man. Yeah. You know, this is Floyd Adams, 501 Media. You know, throwing up the Floyd, Floyd season. Well, introduce yourselves. What? Tell me more about yourselves, man. I'm a King Bogus. I go by What's It Black. Spring out of Savannah, Georgia, you know. Uh, 912 stand up. We just uh, spreading our uh, good graces across the land. Y'all be on the grind all the time. What what pushes you? What 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 got y'all to make it this far? You know. I would say, I mean, honestly, we're what we're doing is planting seeds for the future. It's like said, milestones to catch up to yourself. We you make music that can last forever. You know, uh, it's one of the things that we focus on. It's longevity. Another thing is just being consistent, you know, with yourself. A lot of people get stuck on adopting themselves through other people. You know, like somebody might have said, oh, well, I wasn't really feeling that track, but you know, you really break it down like that other person was just another rapper or something, you know, or somebody that's not really attached to the music like you are. So at the end of the day, you defeat yourself by letting other people try to defeat you too. So. I just gotta keep doing it, gotta keep moving. It's just consistency and driving the grind has really got us this far. Knowing that we can do it, knowing that we're doing it, you know? No room for doubt. It's just pushing forward. How do, you, how do your styles mesh with each other? What, what makes y'all the peanut butter and jelly of the rap game or the artistry right now? Our style at the end of the day is, it's different and it's genuine. You know, it's not one of these worst things you may hear where people will be trying to, you know, just ride a wave that's going on nowadays or they'll try to create something that's already been done before. You know, we're really two, we're really two different sounds that have come together. You know? uh, ish, I feel, lies a lot more on the, uh, the rock side of things where I'll be more like the smooth jazz R&B side, but we still meet on the same plateau of like hip hop and spread out amongst that. You know, and we're very uh, versatile in that. You know, we've got songs that, you know, some funk, some jazz, some hip hop, some '90s. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about making good music at the end of the day. So a lot of people. You know, not saying like Ray Shrimmer or Outkast doesn't make good music, but, you know, for all intents and purposes, I don't feel like they make music the way we make it. What can you say the artist out there that gives you, hey, I like where he's going? I like an artist who can really give you something new in, a, in the same realm of stuff, like really revolutionize things. Like at the end of the day, you look at, you know, Drake, The Weeknd, like Bruno Mars. They've done these things that are, you know, uh, reminiscent of the past, but it's still such a revolutionary concept that it's like, damn, like, I haven't heard anything like this. Where else can I find it? You're not going to be able to find it anywhere but with them for a very long time you know, until the clones come up. Everybody has their, their, uh, their few that they look at, that they, they take from, um, and they're inspired by. Pretty much it's just like a tree. Um, you got your like three that you really, that really inspire you. Like three artists that really inspire you. You take those three and you, you do your research and you look at who they really, who inspires them. You look at who they follow, who they listen to, who their sound comes from. Then that's how you like kind of got this this group of artists that uh, pretty much they're like teachers that they're there to help you know uh, present and past they don't have to be dead all of them you know uh, for example Kid Cudi when I see Kid Cudi I see Kurt Cobain I see a little bit of Jimmy and then I see Kid Cudi in itself is an artist that can be 
feel like he inspires us. So, yeah, like I don't even really, I couldn't even really like relegate to just three, you know, just like the four spot. Not saying like yeah, it's three, and then on top of that, you, I'm just saying how I do it. I'm not saying I oh, just no, look at yeah. three, but it's like <laughs> three, but their artist got three, so it's like not that nine, twelve at that yeah. point. You know, when you really get down, it's like a whole bunch of like sources, a whole bunch of okay. uh, and it all just turns into it's all one sound. It's awesome. It's all the same. You know, when I listen to some of your music, you know, I do hear a lot of different things out of both of you guys, you know. What what sets you apart from everybody else? What what's what what does Floyd Adams bring to the table that you don't see anybody else, you know, in Savannah or Atlanta or you know, wherever you go? The story. The story itself not gonna have the same story, you know? Like, it's a movie. It's really all I can really say, it's like a movie. Like, it's different. I know nobody goes through what, the same type of things that we go through. I'm not gonna say nobody goes through nothing, but it's the story that sets us apart, that makes us who we are. It, it, it's a lot, you know? It's more than just, oh, it's more than swag, it's more than style, it's... You cap. Yeah, you know, it's, it's more than that, it's, it's, it's you know, deep. It's not, it's not trapping out the back, though, you know, it's not, I mean, with the word, you know, you know what I'm saying? And then on the other side, it's not, I'm just trying to bring you conscious shit, you know, it's just, you know, you get to see genuine people, <clears throat> that's what we bring, like, it's, it's not a whole bunch of, like, flexing and shit, we actually you know, we, you know, I, I was going to college and still selling weed, you know what I'm saying? We still, you know, we knew all the plugs and we still going to class, you know, this shit that's it's realistic. You, know, you can be, you can be both, you can be true to yourself, you don't have to be this huge fucking character. At the time, your real life is way more interesting than just what you're trying to live. A lot of things get caught up in trying to live this thing, but really not. This shit is like, I would still be like, I would still be that for dad, but like, you're not just gonna pull up on me in any way. And you can find out, or you know. So it's, so it's just like, you gotta be, you gotta be able to operate within yourself and within the truth. If you can't do that shit, what's your toy? Why are you doing It's like, I feel like for a lot of people, music is their last resort. And for us, this is a choice. Your fans were pretty excited to hear, you know, what y'all got coming out. So, why don't you tell them what you got coming out for the future, man? Change nothing in your way. You just impatient on black man. Change your flow and get back at that door. They gon' love it. Just say you look different. Change your flow and get back at that. Pestilence, you're cute to bad like it's evidence. Yeah, yeah. When I'm in the room, I'm the elephant. Chemistry, y'all niggas out of your element. I